Coach, you feel like you, you guys are starting to regain your defensive identity this week, and, and if so, how have you sort of done that? We have. Um, we've been committed effort-wise, uh, energy-wise. I mean, that's the biggest thing. And um, when you play hard and you have the, you know, the versatility that we do, then um, you know, good things should happen. Uh, so we, we've definitely gotten that, that edge back at that end, and unfortunately we've gotten worse offensively. I have no idea what, what I was looking at tonight on the offensive end. It was uh, really a poor performance. Way too many um, silly passes, um, passes that didn't need to be made, risky plays. Um, we always talk about making the simple play and moving and cutting. And right now we're dribbling into crowds, uh, we're standing around a lot, we're not cutting, we're not setting screens. Um, fortunately, we, um, we can play off our defense, um, so we can get out into the open floor and get, get our shooters some shots, but uh, that's not going to be enough down the road, so we've, we've got a lot of work to do. It's uh, another team that did everything they could to get the ball out of Steph's hands. How do you think you handled that tonight? Just okay. We made some good plays. We made some bad ones. Um, there were, you know, a couple of inexplicable passes that, um, you know, once Steph got it out of his hands and after the trap, um, guys like just threw it to Dallas. I don't know why. Um, so you know, we're going to see that. You know, Clippers will do it on Sunday. They did it Christmas night. Um, people are going to take the ball out of Steph's hands if we play it the right way. We should get great shots. It's it's four on three. Four on three with NBA players should be a huge edge. So I love that people are, are trapping Steph, and I hope they keep doing it. And we're gonna we're gonna keep working on on the counteraction stuff. But uh, we have to get into our spots. We have to cut. We've got to screen, and we've got to attack. Um, tonight was, uh, as I said, a couple good plays out of that. A couple bad ones, um, but all in all. Just not a very good offensive performance at all. Going back to defense, uh, Clay hasn't looked like himself offensively, but what can you say about his defense tonight and his progression as a defensive player in the league? He's he's been really good defensively, you know, the last couple of years. I mean, he's got the size and the uh, the lateral quickness to stay in front of people, the strength, and he can guard multiple spots. And I thought his defense was very good tonight. He was engaged and, and active. And, um, you know, this is just a one of those spells for Clay. It happens to everybody. Um, great players and and uh, you know good players and average play. Everybody just goes through funks at times. And uh, Clay's in a little bit of a, a funk. He'll be fine. We got to do a better job of getting him some good shots. He's got to do a better job of making the simple play, not dribbling into traffic. But as our offensive rhythm gets better as a team, um, Clay will get a lot better himself. So, you always mentioned defense leading to offense. Do you think that works for an individual player that play if he puts more effort on the defensive side as it looked like he did tonight? The fact that yeah, yeah. More the best thing to do when you're struggling with your shot is to, to focus on getting a bunch of rebounds and, and play great defense. Uh, when you focus on other stuff, the shots will come. And uh, you know, he made a couple in the, the second half. He had another one that looked great, rattled in and out. Um, He's fine. He's fine. He's frustrated, but he's uh, he's a great player, and he'll 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 be back quickly. Steve, after some of these wins, sometimes the criticism can be maybe seen as nitpicking. How has your team managed to maybe uh, not be clouded by success and still pay attention to the things that they need to to uh, improve upon, despite the the record and, and the good things that are happening? Well, I don't know. I mean, as a staff, we just keep. Trying to focus on the, uh, the big picture items, you know, um, making improvement. Um, certain plays that we run, let's let's sharpen those up. Um, let, let's just make gradual improvement throughout the season and and play our play our best when the time comes. And you know, to, to move on. And uh, I, I'm as I said, I'm, I'm you know I'm disappointed in the offensive game tonight, but. Uh, we need some practice time. We need to get back on the practice floor and, and work out some of the kinks. Our defense was great, and uh, that's a good sign. So we'll be okay. We just need some work. Uh, you called a timeout a 
think a minute 26 yeah. into the game. Uh, I don't really think you addressed the team there. Was there an unspoken message? No, I did uh, address the team during the timeout. Um, I was upset. You know, our whole focus uh, offensively was to move the ball, um, to, to, to move the ball, make easy plays, and not dribble into traffic, and that's what we did in the first minute. So I was upset. I wanted to get the message across. The last time we played this team, it was about 42 to 6, five minutes in, and we were losing. I didn't want that to happen again, but sometimes I think you have to um, – send a message and remind guys you know what the game plan is and uh, when you don't uh, follow the game plan on the first three plays then there's some, something's wrong so we needed to focus and uh, that's why I called the timeout. Steve your team has been in a little bit of a rebounding rut lately but not tonight. Um, was that something that was discussed? I mean unspoken again uh, tonight they came out and really went after it. I just think better defense leads to better rebounding. You know, you, you force tough shots. Um, you're usually in, in better position to rebound. You keep penetration out of the lane. You're less vulnerable to, uh, on the glass. So um, the defensive effort was was really good. That led to the to the rebounding, and um, you know, those were the bright spots. Steve, uh, what went into the decision then not to play David? Um, I didn't I didn't make that decision until during the game. Um, you know, I haven't played Mo much at all the last few games. I wanted to play Mo. I liked the matchup. Uh, we needed some scoring uh, with the second group. We needed a little shooting. And um, <clears throat> so I went with Mo uh, tonight. I, I didn't go with Mo the last couple of nights. Um, I was hoping to get David out there, but I wanted to stay smaller um, at the four. Uh, and, and more versatile just with our switching game. And I think our defense was really good. Um, so I stayed with the defensive lineup. Festus did a nice job when he went out there. Um, I wanted to get him on Tyson Chandler. So, you know, once I got Festus and Mo out there, um, you know, it's hard to keep going and, you know, play 13 guys. And I, I would say, you know, beginning of the fourth quarter, I just decided, you know, David hasn't played to this point. I'm not going to. You know, he's a vet. He's uh, he's not a guy you put out there for five minutes and, and you know clean up the game at the end. He's he's so I, I we talked about it in the middle of the fourth and just said you know what tonight's not your night and hopefully you know that the next game is but uh, every game's a little different. Anything else? Great. Walker, we'll be over in just a minute. Thank you.